Hello. Thank you so very much for watching this introduction to the North American Membership Initiative. This presentation was shared with our area leaders in December of 2019. And since that time, our area leaders have endeavored to share it with all the district governor teams across Constitutional Area 1. However, because of time restraints, because of scheduling conflicts, and the busy life that everyone leads, several of our district governor-elects, our current district governors, and our district governor teams were not able to attend the sessions at the, as were put on or presented by our area leaders. And therefore, I'd like to introduce you to the North American Membership Initiative. This is Jerome Thompson. I'm a pastor and national director and currently serve as the Constitutional Area 1 leader for our global action team. Today, we're going to take and cover just a few points in a very short period of time. We're going to talk about the North American Membership Initiative Overview. We're going to talk about the Enhancement Plan, how that every district governor team across Constitutional Area 1, the United States, Bermuda, Bahamas, the islands of the Caribbean are going to be given the opportunity to opt in for success. We're going to talk about the, the step necessary to build a plan for success. First of all, opting into success. And when our district governor elects are in St. Charles, they're going to be given the opportunity to opt in. We're going to then begin to give you the tools to build a team. And from that team that is built, we're going to build a vision, a vision of a better tomorrow for your district that is focused on your district and on the clubs within your district. It's going to be an opportunity for us to build a vision from the ground up because our clubs are the most important part of our association. And from that vision, we're going to build a plan. We're going to develop a roadmap to get from where we are to where we want to be. And with the cooperation of everyone in the district, we're going to build success over the next 12 months. We're going to also cover what you need to do to be prepared for St. Charles as the district governor elect school in order to opt in. And then we're going to tell you how that you can get the answers to the questions, your concerns, and your comments. Let's first of all talk about this North American Membership Initiative and give you just a brief overview. About this time last year, January of 2019, nine pilot sites were selected to test some theories which would drive our membership in a positive direction. And the initial outcome is that those pilot districts that engaged in building a vision, building a plan, have now found success at greater rates than they have in the past. And so as these districts continue to test some membership growth ideas, those will be shared in the future as well. But initially, we know that when a district builds a team, builds a vision, builds a plan, all together collaboratively, that they begin to build success. Why was the North American Membership Initiative uh, necessary? You can see from these two charts showing the trends in membership from 1980 to 2019 that we've been on a steady decline for almost 40 years. And the North American Membership Initiative already is showing that we can stabilize that decline and in some areas that we have begun to, to experience membership growth simply by doing the planning. Vice President Haynes, during his lifetime, Vice President Bryan, Vice President Patty, worked together to develop these, this process that would help us to reverse the negative membership trends. And we're excited to welcome Vice President Doug to our team, who is very supportive of what we're going to do and what we're already accomplishing. This program is centered around the fact that clubs and districts must be our focus. We must flip our organizational chart because clubs is where members join 
It's where service is provided. It's where our future leaders reside. It's got to be simple, something that is easy to do, not a very complicated uh, process, but something that, that is easy, that will help us to get to where we're going, and something that will cause us to be accountable for what we say that we're going to do and how that we're going to do it. And so those three principles have been built into the North American Membership Initiative. It's also all hands on deck. Because of our declining membership for 40 years, the fact that we have half the members now that we had in 1980 means that everyone must come on board and work together. From the clubs to the zones, the districts, the multiple districts, your global action team, your past district governors, your past directors, your past presidents, your international directors, your executive officers have all joined hands to ring that bell of success. And we hope that as we share this exciting program with you, that you as a member of the district governor team will say, yes, we're in. Count us in. We want to build success, not only for our clubs in our district, but we want to add to the success of the United States. Canada and beyond. You know, so often when we talk about our membership losses, everyone has a different reason, a different excuse as to why membership's declining. What I found was when that I lost all my excuses, I found my results. When I shift my focus from the negative, why it's not happening, to the possibilities why it can happen, then naturally I begin to find success. If we've always do what we've always done, we'll always get what we have always gotten. It's time for us, us to change our process, change our methods, and hold on to our message that we serve because we're the world's largest service organization. And Lions Clubs International for 102 years has done one thing better than any other organization on the face of that earth, and that is serve. So we're gonna hold on to that service message while, while finding new ways to deliver those services, new ways to engage members and volunteers, new ways of identifying and promoting leaders within our association. Let's talk about the process. First of all, our district governor elects, after talking with the district governor team, is going to be asked to opt in to success. And that's going to take place in January of 2020. We're beginning to ask you to opt in. And you'll have through February 28th to actually opt in and provide to us the commitment that you'll go through the process as well as identify someone who's going to be the North American Membership Initiative champion in your district. The biggest cheerleader you've got, someone who can organize, someone that can motivate, someone that can inspire, someone that is going to help you as the district governor be successful. In February, then we're going to begin to build a team. And we're going to talk about that in just a few minutes. The best way for us to build a team and identify those leaders that will help us to accomplish our, our purpose. In March, you're going to be asked to build a vision and to hold a meeting with the Lions across your district who will attend and just dream. Develop that vision of a better tomorrow, that tomorrow that focuses on service, that tomorrow that focuses on leadership, but most importantly, focuses on membership because members are what drives our association. We can only do more when we have more hands, all ringing the bell of success together. From that vision, then we're going to have identified where we're going. We will have identified in that meeting where we are, and we're gonna build a plan, a roadmap towards success that is tailor-made to your district and involves your clubs. And then we're going to begin to build success. And I realize that the current seated district governor 
is going to hold office until the International Convention adjourns. However, if our district governors will consent, we can begin to build success now. We can finish this year 2019-2020 successfully and share those successes with the current governor and get a running start and build momentum to have an even, even better 2020-2021 uh, fiscal year. I'm excited about the process and we're gonna to work together and talk our way through this process. What is the objectives of the North American Membership Initiative? Our number one objective and everything must focus on growing membership in CA1 and CA2. With increased members, we have the ability to increase our service impact. We have the ability to identify more leaders to lead our association to greater levels of success. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about rejuvenating districts with new clubs. New clubs is the lifeblood of a district. We've found that districts that add one or two clubs per year sustain membership growth. They serve more, they lead more, they impact more. Second, we're going to talk about revitalizing clubs with new members because some of our clubs have failed to invite others to join them. Some of them are smaller. Some of them are not serving to the levels that they once did. And we can bring in new ideas, new energy, new excitement by inviting new members into our existing clubs. And finally, we have an opportunity to increase our retention, to increase the number of lions who stay, to close that back door and we're going to do that by remotivating members with new fellowships and new exciting service. We're going to take our service journey and we're going to expand what we're doing and we are going to become more social and embrace our members so that they enjoy their Lions experience. As we move forward and begin to talk about building a team, that team needs to be those that you invite to attend your build a vision meeting. Prior to going to St. Charles, if you want to be a, at the head of the class, you'll go ahead and set a date for your build a vision meeting. You'll go ahead and select a location and you'll issue invitations to everyone in your district so that everyone will have an opportunity to be invested in the success of your district. Some of the things that you may want to consider is who to invite that, that build a vision session. I encourage you to invite everyone because those districts that had invited everyone found that people who generally have not attended meetings attended, they invested their time and they're now working towards success. Where are we gonna hold this meeting? It needs to be large enough that we have some tables. We have an opportunity for a PowerPoint because Lions Clubs International is going to be sending you the PowerPoint to use at the Build a Vision meeting. And then there will be instructions on how to build the plan. There will then be further instructions on how to implement that plan and be most successful. How much time is it going to take for us to build a vision? It's going to take about four hours, and that's because we're going to start with some exercises and some discussions just to get discussion going and let everyone know we're in a safe place. There are no ideas that are too far out of the box. We want to hear anything and everything that you think might help us to be successful in growing our membership, expanding our service, and finding new leaders. If you plan it, at dinner time or lunch time, we'll need to consider the cost of those meals and how those meals will be uh, paid. Whether those that participate will be uh, paying for their own lunch, whether your district has the money to uh, fund that lunch, or is it such that we need to plan our meeting from one to five on a Saturday afternoon and avoid a meal time? That's your decision. You know your district and you know what works best. What supplies do you need? 
flip charts, handouts, pencils, paper, screen, projector, PowerPoint, computer, all those things are considerations that you may want to begin to think about. And the North American Membership Initiative Team and your Global Action Team area leaders are going to be available to coach you through this process and help us to get to where that we need to be. And what's the room arrangement? I would suggest that you find a room that you can set up with tables because throughout the opportunity as you build a vision, there'll be small discussion table, table discussions and then those tables will report out to the group as a whole and from those comments a consensus will be built and as we begin to build this vision for a better tomorrow. That build a vision meeting is going to cover the strengths of your district and the weaknesses. Every district has a few things that they do well and has a few things that they wish they could do better. There's some great opportunities out there and we're going to talk about those opportunities whether that's the Leo Lion program, whether that's a specialty club in your area or a community that needs a Lions Club that has not had one uh, recently. And from those strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, we're going to begin to build with your team of visionaries goals around how many new clubs can we charter in the next 12 months? One, two, three. How many new members can we bring into our association in the next 12 months, 75, 100, 125, membership satisfaction, what can we do to keep our members satisfied so that they do not do not withdraw, what is the maximum number of lions that we would feel comfortable withdrawing from our association, and we must remember that about 3% of our lions every year in the United States pass away, and so that's a given. And to that, we must add the number of members that withdraw and set that maximum target so that we know that when we finish this, that we're going to meet the objective of having positive membership growth in North America. And then leader support. What is it going to take? What kind of training? What kind of resources? What kind of tools are necessary for us to start clubs in your district? What kind of tools, resources, programs is necessary for us to bring new members into existing clubs? And what do we need to do different in order to close that back door and keep our members satisfied and provide to them a membership experience second to none? That is part of that building a vision process. From there, we're going to develop some goals, but you as a district governor elect are going to be given two goals, then all the district governors elect around the world have the same two goals. The first is by the end of 2021 fiscal year, our district will achieve a positive membership growth. That means that we're going to meet or exceed last year's membership numbers. Wherever you start, we're going to have at least one more in your district. And second, by the end of 2021 fiscal year, our district will support Lions Clubs International Foundation and its endeavor to achieve the campaign 100's target goal of 300 million. And as a district governor team, as a district governor elect, you're going to be asked, how can you support these two goals? And we're going to leave it up to you, knowing your district better than anyone else, through the build a vision, build a plan, build success process to identify how that your district can reach these goals. A sample build a plan might be how many clubs will you charter by June 30, 2021? Two. Where can we those new clubs be formed? Name those two two locations. Personally, name four locations and prioritize one, two, three, four. Work on one, work on two. If you have some time left, work on three and four. What training is needed for your Lions in your district to feel comfortable supporting a new club charter effort? What supplies do you need? 
a new member kits, applications, ink pens, maps of the community, email addresses for the businesses in the community, and when, where, who, what training, what supplies, and when. Are we going to do that in July and August? Or are we going to do that in September or October? The more we do on the front end, the easier our job will become on the back end because we're building success and momentum in July and August and September that we're only going to continue to increase throughout the rest of the year and we're going to be prepared to hand our district off to the next district governor in better shape with the momentum in an all-time high. Then that action plan may look something like this. Charter a traditional new club in town ABC with a minimum of 25 members. We're going to do that in July and August of 2020. Vice District Governor Jane is going to handle that. This is the budget and these are the resources we need. When you begin to do that detailed planning prior to becoming the district governor, all you have to do is follow the script which you've written for yourself. Too long we've tried to take and have a top-down model. We have flipped the chart with the North American Membership Initiative and we're letting you as a district governor team in consultation with all your leaders throughout the district and all your lions throughout the district to develop a plan that is tailor-made to your district and to your clubs. Now, you can decide the leadership structure to implement your plan. This is only a sample, but we have found that it works in some of the nine pilot districts and we believe that it may work in your district as well if you choose to adopt it. And if you choose to adopt something else, we are supportive of you. We're going to applaud you. The Global Action Team is going to support you. The first focus, new clubs. <clears throat> when it's taken on as a serious commitment by our district governor team, our region chairs and zone chairs, we find that new clubs are formed and chartered and you just develop one or two action plans and we know that we have three and four and five from our vision but prioritize do the one or two and then as those are completed you can always add uh, more to the list if you have time new members how are we going to bring new members in what are we going to do and if that will be headed up by our global membership team leader in your district with the support of your multiple district GMT, we, we have found that we do an excellent job of inviting members in when they have a reason to join and our clubs are actively engaged in hands-on service. And that brings us to focus area three, new service opportunities. Those new service opportunities is what will keep our current members in their seats, keep them actively engaged in what we're doing and a satisfied member is one who will stay and participate and contribute as long as they can. And finally, we know that there is training needs out there that must be provided in order to support the new service ideas, to support new members into existing clubs, to support the formation of new clubs. So focus area four, led by your global leadership team coordinator in your district will develop some action plans to support each of the other three areas. And then we've opted in for success. We've got our team together. We built a, a vision. We've built a plan and it's time to start building success. And we build that success by sharing the plan with the all clubs, and engaging everyone in the process. And that success and that momentum will continue to increase as we have monthly calls with our district governor team, our district GAT and our zone chairs, talking about what we've accomplished in the last 30 days, what we plan to accomplish in the next 30 days. When we review those district North American membership initiative goals and we report on the progress in the last month, we're gonna be building some excitement We'd ask you to consider when you finish your meeting to send one paragraph to your multiple district GAT team, your global action team for the multiple district. And we're asking those individuals when they have 
everyone's monthly call notes to compile one short report, two or three paragraphs, to the global action team area leaders who then will forward those to the constitutional area leaders, which will be consolidated so that the executive officers, our international board know that we are on task. We're going to return to our uh, role of prominence in our association. We're going to reverse a membership trend and there's action and there's activity going on in each of our 253 districts across CA1. And we're asking the multiple district leadership to support so that our multiple district GATs will also be communicating on a monthly basis with our district governors and our council chairs become the coaches for our North American membership team. And at every council of governors meeting, there is time set aside for every district governor team to report on their progress toward meeting their goals, their progress in the area of new clubs, new members, retaining members, and any other goals which are specific to your district or your multiple districts. The biggest phrase that we have found is, how can I help? How can you help? And if we begin to ask that question of our clubs, we begin to ask that question of our zone chairs, our district governors, we're going to find that they respond by letting us know what they need. And we as leaders can match their needs to the resources we have and help them to find greater success. And that's going to be done through accountability. Starting in January, by the end of the month, we should have lionsclubs.org backslash NAMI, North American Membership Initiative, up and running. That's going to have a series of tools necessary for you as a district to move forward and find success. There are going to be idea starters and conversation starters for you. We're going to have some recruiting ideas and some club assessment checklists, some troubleshooting guides, some achievement certificates, some videos such as this one, some marketing tips, social media posts, templates, photos, anything that you may need to implement your plan is going to be found there. And if it's not there, let us know and we'd love to develop it for you because we are committed in North America to reversing the membership trend, serving more than we've ever served before, and promoting other leaders throughout our association. This is the process. Prior to February 29th, we'd like for you to opt in, name your North American Membership Initiative champion, and opt into success. You'll be told in St. Charles how to do that and how to get that done. Prior to April 30th, we will have completed our build a vision meeting when found a consensus on our goals. Go ahead and enter those in to the database that will be provided to all district governor elects. And if you need to amend those goals, you have to June 30th to go back in and make any modifications. February 29th, opt in, build your team, build your vision, enter your goals by April 30th, build your plan, and get started building success. This is an exciting time to be a lion in North America. This is how your global action team area leaders are going to support you through this process. Each district governor elect will receive a build a team recorded presentation to guide district governor teams through the team building and build a vision meeting process in early February. Area leaders will host calls to orientate Lion leaders to build a vision, a plan, a process sometime between February 22nd and March 7th. During that meeting, you will find out how to conduct, you'll discover how to, to conduct your build a vision meeting. Your area leaders will work with your district GAT to monitor progress, uh, to make sure that meetings are successful, to look at outcomes from these meetings, assist in setting goals, and to, to assist in reviewing your plan of action. Your leaders were, are going to work with your council chair 
in your global action team, multiple district uh, members to review those plans of action. And by May 2020, we're going to be two months ahead and we're going to be roaring into the next lion year for greater success with plans that have been approved. Now it's time for questions comments and concerns and because this is a recording I'm not able to open it up to the to the audience for those questions but let me tell you you can reach out to your area leader for answers you can reach out to me at h jerome law at aol.com with your questions comments and concerns or you can reach out to our Global Action Team Specialist at Lions Clubs International because all of us want to see you successful as we move from June 2020 with this membership growth model. We begin to strive to start 200 new clubs a year in the United States and affiliates and add 44,000 new members. And in Canada, 20 new clubs and add 5,000 new members. From that, there's going to be some that leave our associations through death or for other uh, reasons. And we are going to then end up with our target goal of 315,000 members in CA1, 38,000 members in CA2. What you need to do what we're asking you to do is opt into success. Be part of this exciting program and help us to move North America back to the forefront of membership growth, the forefront of service, and developing the most outstanding leaders. Each district governor elect will select the NAMI champion, a promoter, a project coordinator, and encourager. Set a date, select a place, and invite the Lions for your district to build a vision meeting. And take with you to St. Charles your membership number, the name, and the membership number of your North American champion. You'll be given the opportunity to submit that information and opt in and be on the cutting edge of new and exciting projects, developing those tools and resources that are specific to your district as we reverse a membership trend. We're making a difference. We're putting smiles on the faces of those who are less fortunate. We are serving like we've never served before, and we're going to begin to recruit new members and develop leaders like we've never done before. That's your North American Membership Initiative. Thank you so very much for taking the time to watch this video, and I'd encourage you to seize the moment and claim success. It's yours for the taking.